pretty much anyone with eyes and ears knows the pandemic put a ton of stress on teachers and students. What we're now learning is this has led to more behavioral issues. Where things have gotten a lot worse in American schools, especially since people have returned to the classroom. And according to the National Center for Education Statistics, more than 80% of schools say that the pandemic has taken a toll on student behavior and social emotional development. The data was collected from 846 public schools as the 2021-2022 academic year was wrapping up. And a finding increased conflict among students, sometimes leading to violence. Also finding that you have over half of schools reporting a rise in classroom disruptions because of student misconduct, nearly half pointing to jumps and out-of-classroom rowdiness, and 46% reporting more fighting and threats of physical attacks. And naturally, teachers are affected as well, yes, of course, by their own stress, but also as these teachers explain. Do you feel like in some ways the kids' stress and anxiety is also something that the teachers take on? Absolutely. Those are my babies. My babies. So as a result, you have nearly half of schools reporting higher teacher absences than a year earlier. Chronic absenteeism among students skyrocketing as more than 7 in 10 schools say they've seen a rise. And those in the more impoverished areas are feeling this the hardest. Now, as for the specific reasons why this is happening, there are several. But one factor is just how jarring the shift back from remote learning to in-person learning was for many students, as this Oregon administrator explains. And all of a sudden, you have kids all around you and routines that uh, you're not familiar with and classes that are 60 to 90 minutes long when you've only done things on the same timetable as TikTok for 18 months. It's just hard to manage. You also have the president of the American Federation of Teachers linking these increased problems to the country's culture wars and angry politics intensified by social media and saying there that the toxic discourse filters into the classroom and emphasizing the need for more guidance counselors, social workers, and wraparound services. And this is happening at the same time as the president of Maryland's largest teachers union says that schools continue to lack sufficient staffing, training, and student supports. There's also just the sheer amount of grief the kids have had to grapple with as the pandemic's death toll has climbed. Like, I know a lot of us have put blinders on. We're just trying to move forward. But it's important to remember that around a quarter million children children have lost a caregiver, including 200,000 losing one or both parents. And partly because of all of this stress, emergency department visits for suspected suicide attempts among adolescents jumped 31% in 2020. And so for today, that's where I'm going to end it. But of course, I want to pass the question off to you, especially if you're a teacher, a parent, a student, a whatever, what has it been like for you and where are you at now? But as always, thank you for watching and subscribing. And thanks to our fantastic sponsors like Public and more specifically, public.com slash DeFranco for making these extra videos possible. If you're not happy where you're at or you're looking to start investing into the stock market, or crypto, sign up now. It's easy, it's free, and just for signing up, you'll get a free stock, which personally is my favorite kind of stock. Yeah, I love your faces, and I'll see you in the next video.